Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have got a massive Primark haul for you. I'm so excited. I literally just got home from Primark not that long ago. <sighs> okay, I'm out of breath because I was carrying stuff, organizing the space. But yes, I am so excited to film this haul for you. I haven't done a haul for over like a year and a bit and I wanted a break from doing something interiors. So if this is your thing, keep watching. Definitely there'll be some cute pieces in here for you. Primark has a lot of new stuff and I may just have gone overbound, overboard. Yes, I spent, oh, bro, I'm not even gonna say this on camera. I spent 200 pounds in Primark. Like, what was I thinking? But to my defense, I couldn't actually try anything on in the store, so I was just pick, pick, picking at things. I got tops in various colors. No more long talking. Quick introduction. My name is Lauren, and welcome to my channel if you're new. If you're not, welcome back. How you doing? How's your week? Let me know in the comments, and let's get straight to the video. <laughs> A lot of bags. I hope you guys are ready for a long one because this is what that is about to be. So the first pair of trousers I got were these shorts. These black extreme rip shorts. They were £13, an absolute bargain. I got this in a size 14 because this is denim. It doesn't have much stretch and I don't want it to be like Batty Rider up in, you know, up and there, up and there. I need it to be sitting nicely. So I got it in a size 14. The waist will probably be too big but I'm used to it. Like, yeah, the waist could come in a fair few inches. However, not everything needs to be so tight up, tight up. I'm actually really liking these. They're not too short. And they fit really well. I got another pair of shorts, the same ones, super high waist, again, size 14. These aren't extreme rip in this really nice acid wash kind of denim material. This is probably my favorite sort of denim, similar to the trousers that I'm wearing today, or I should say jeans. Yeah, and this was, did I say already? This was 12 pounds. Do you like this? Cause I'm really loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm loving it like this. Oh yeah, we like these. We like these really much. Oh, I like these more than the black ones still. I got a pair of white skinny jeans because I don't own any and this summer I want to try and incorporate white jeans into my wardrobe. I just thought it'd be nice to get some white skinny jeans, literally £10, size 14, you know the buy. This is just to show you the jeans, this is not a styling video because I would not wear <laughs> a white bodysuit with white jeans. Oh my word, they're see through. Oh. Oh my gosh, they're so see-through. Okay, this is where the bodysuit is. I don't know about this. Um, yeah, they're super stressed. Oh, oh I should have got a 12. And look at the leg length. Like, what's this? And it doesn't help that I've got a white wall behind me either. I look like a floating cocoa pop. <laughs> I've got some grey cycling shorts with a nice white rib detail down the side. And these were five pounds and I got them in a small. And the small in Primark is now 10 to 12, which is actually really good because the average woman is a size 12. So when brands are doing size 12 and they're calling it large, like, are you mad? No wonder we have body dysmorphia. Anyways. nice they're really soft however they're a bit too long because that length is a lot better nothing's moving by the way i've just hyping myself up <laughs> and <laughs> the gyms need to open i lost my booty i'm liking these ones a lot more look i feel like i've got body and I'm shaped like a rectangle at hips. 
Well, this grey one is nice. The other grey one did not make me feel like this. So I, this is nice. So I, mm, 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 I actually don't own a pair of leggings. So I bought a pair of leggings and these ones are nice and thick. Um, I can't imagine them being see-through. They had some thinner ones, but these have a nice band at the top, which I was really happy to see. And these were four pounds and I got this in a small 10 to 12. Sizing is so odd because I got the jeans in a 14, yet I'm getting leggings in a size 10 to 12. Weird, I guess, because it has stretch, but yeah. And these come down fairly long, longer than the white jeans did anyways. I could do yoga in this. <laughs> So that is all of my bottoms. For my tops, I'm going to start with this cami that I got. <clears throat> it's very similar to the Zara, is it contour collection? But I found that the Zara contour collection, the extra small to small, was still too big for me because I need more support from my girls, you know? I need a bit more support, just, just a smidge, a bit more. So I was really happy to see legit the same top in Primark and for a fraction of the price, and this was three pounds. I got this in an extra small because I need it to be oh, tight, although I think it's a bit too tight. This is the support I'm talking about, like, look. So much better. They look pushed up, nice and just perky. It's ribbed, both of them are ribbed, just like the Zara ones. And it also has a second lining, a second skin. So that should hold the girls up nicely, give you a little bit of support in there. And it also has the adjustable straps on the back, which the Zara one did not have. So yeah, very good. I got this in a small. So it turns out I did need this in a extra small. I got it in a small, which is a 10 to 12. And it's just not doing anything. Right. They're just chilling. I mean, could wear it to bed, but. So the bodysuit that I'm wearing now is from Zara and I was shocked to see that Primark have a very similar thing. Again, for the fraction of the price, five pounds. I got this one in a small. It's literally this, it's literally the same. The only difference with this one is that there's no second skin or second lining, so I'm not too sure how that's gonna work or how it's gonna look. It's slightly see-through, but I like it. I like it, I like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see this top here? You see this top here? I should have got two because I'm actually speechless. It fits so nice, it's slinky, it's just, oh, and it's a little bit naughty. I can see a little bit of areola. It's a little bit naughty. Oh my goodness. This, some high-waisted black flare leggings and some mules. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> Being economical, I'm not gonna buy two. I'm just gonna make sure whenever I wash it, I wash it with some banish and some glow white because mm, they take me for stay white. And they had it in multiple colors. So, you know, I just had to, I couldn't help myself. I just had to get it in this olive color, which looks so good against your skin. Look at that. Yeah, man, five pounds, boom. You can easily see why I spent so much money. Attention. This is how this colour makes me feel. I'm going to put my jeans back on. I like it with some trousers on or something because at the moment, I don't know. Right, okay. Uh, oh! It was too much um, brown and camo, but the break of blue, and also I've got on brown lipstick, which I never do, so. I feel like that was affecting it. This is nice. Yes, 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 yes. 
Okay, so yeah, I also got this in a like salmon pinky kind of color. I'm trying to incorporate more pinks and pastels into my wardrobe because I'm a very white, black, beige, neutral kind of babe. So I'm trying, we'll see. This is literally my second pink top. Like I should incorporate more colors into my wardrobe because this looks so cute. Oh my word. Oh my word. And this is only five pounds. Only for a fiver. Got this ribbed bodysuit in this baby pink. I think this is really adorable. Again, ribbed and it just has a nice um, silky texture to it. And I got this for six pounds and I got it in extra small because I put it up to my body and the stretch was very nice. Like the stretch was good. So I think I can get away with an extra small without having to wear a bra. <laughs> you can actually see the upset and the disgust in my face. This material is so cheap. You can literally see the, the string from the hanger, where the hanger is supposed to be inside the top. I didn't even bother putting my trousers back on for this because, yeah, just because. Um, all I have to say is that I will not be keeping this. The material is very thin. This color is so trendy this season and um, I just have to be involved. The Zara bodysuit like this, it keeps going out of stock and I just cannot get it. So when I saw this one, I wanted to grab it straight away. However, they only had it in a small, in a size 10 to 12. So I'm gonna see if it gives me the support that I need. If it doesn't, it'll be going back because I know that saggy boobs are in, but just not for me. Like that's not part of my brand. This blue is looking nice on my skin. Now I, want, now I know why this color is always sold out because it just looks good on me. So I have to give Primark their props because this bodysuit does have poppers. All of their bodysuits have poppers and I find them quite comfortable when they have poppers rather than when they're like a swimsuit and there's nothing down there. However, more time, I just pull it to the side and do what I gotta do. Too much information, but whatever. Um, however, on this bodysuit, I love the color. The fit is okay in regards to these straps. Why I love adjustable straps is because you can alter it to fit your body. I'm gonna have to bring this up a little bit and sew it. So I'll just literally just tack it. It is a small if this strap was thicker. Okay, Primark. If it was thicker, this would have looked better. Okay. And the last bodysuit, again, is very similar to the Zara Contour Collection kind of material. And it is a black bodysuit ribbed with these like spaghetti straps super thin and this was five pounds and i got it in an extra small so ugh, shopping for me must be hard because how can i be an extra small all the way to a size 14 make it make sense So I really love this bodysuit. I think it's so flattering, especially the shape of it because it's razor back. I think it just makes your decolletage look very feminine. The material of it is like this ribbed material. It's this cardigan and I know it's summertime, but we live in the UK, innit? So it doesn't ever get too, too hot. Man, I mean, this Friday is gonna be like 31 degrees, but it doesn't get too, hot for me not to have a cardigan in my wardrobe for summer. I can throw it over outfits, like jeans and a little bralette um, while it gets a bit colder in the evening. And I got this in a small. At the moment, it looks very grandma-esque. <laughs> it's looking very grandma-esque. Um, it was £5.50. They had a nice blue, similar to the blue of the bodysuit. However, that was all gone because that is such a really nice color this season. And I wish I could have got it because I think it would look really nice on my complexion. And blues are like the only color that I allow into my color scheme of neutrals. Oh my God, the sleeves are so... I didn't realize the sleeves were like this. That changes everything. Oh, this is cute, cute. Okay, for £5.50, you're getting a lot. I can't lie, PLT wouldn't do me like this. 
Mm -mm. I'll be paying 18 pounds for a little, little cardigan like this from PLT. The sleeve detail, oh my word, I'm so happy Primark is open again. And I like that it's tight on the sleeves. It'll keep me warm on those cooler days that we have in England, which are oh so often. And then I also picked up this really lovely shirt. It's oversized. It's almost like a cheesecloth material or like a faux linen because this definitely is not linen. I don't I don't believe Primark would give us linen like that. The material says that it is 100% cotton. Is linen a cotton? Genuine question, is linen a cotton? But very lightweight and what I loved most about this is that there's buttons down the back so you could have the back open or you could have the front open as well with buttons and or you could have both of them open and it would be like a cape and yeah it's just really lovely the sleeves also have this button up detail which you can undo and roll down and it has really small tortoise shell buttons so i'm definitely feeling this piece i love shirts i love white shirts especially and like um corduroy shirts for the winter slash autumn so this is going to be a staple in my summer wardrobe. The reason I love button-ups and shirts so much is that you can be wearing the most basic top and bottoms, but when you throw it on, it looks like you gave your outfit some thought. You get this like artsy vibe, like I'm just a cool chick, you know what I mean? Like whatever, you're gonna go kick it. I bet. This is super long. It goes down to like here. And you know what would look bad man with this? A bralette. Those denim shorts that I bought earlier. This and some air forces. Or even some slides. Some perspex clear flat slides. Which now moving on to dresses. I'm gonna start with a banger. Like this is a when DLT opens, I could go to brunch, but I'll be doing too much. When day parties at recess open up again, this is a dress. Oh my goodness, I'm not a big fan of denim. However, when I saw this dress, I said, that's a bit of me. Look at this dress tee. Oh my goodness. So it's strapless, comes in, and then it's a bit fitted around the hips and then goes back out. I mean, I'm gonna have to try this on to let you know how it is. And it has this sexy zip detail down the back. Like, yes, honey, we are here for this. And I got this in a size 10 because that's the only size they, they had that was closest to my fit. I would have preferred to get a size 12. And this was 13 pounds. hips this is a dress for you if you got the titty den this is a dress for you okay the only thing that's saving me is my waist like it's growing on me and girls that have got more hip oh my days this dress would be for you however i am shaped like a rectangle you know the ones when you're taking a picture and you've got to stand you've got to stand like this so that you can give the illusion of some shit. <laughs> then, ugh, so weighty as well. This dress is in a size small and it's 13 pounds. The small is again a 10 to 12. And it's this knit, thick strap, v-neck, ribbed dress. And it has a slit at the front. Oh, and it's so weighty like, oh, yes. This is gonna fit like a dream, I already know. Yeah, okay, this dress. Fitted. Oh, it's feeling noise. I need to. Okay, let me. This dress. This dress is a bag. This dress is a bag. The ribbon is really cute. On here, very nice. And baby, if you got hips, this is a dress for you, baby. You know what I'm wearing. You know what I mean. I really feel like I lacked last year with dresses. And even though Cora Cora is locking up me and the homegirls, I still feel like I want to have my summer wardrobe just on point. 
I never do and I always regret it. I always end up just doing like um, bicycle shorts and like an oversized t-shirt. Whereas this year I really wanna try and dress more to my personality. So saying that, this dress is very much to my personality. My, um, what side of my personality is this? I'd say it's my girl next door. Let's go to the field and have a picnic type personality. Okay, so this is a cotton dress. It's, oh, it's a bit bright, can you see? Let me turn the exposure down. This dress is a maxi, like milkmaid almost type dress. It was 18 pounds and I picked her up in a size 12. And I really love this bow detail on the back. The construction of it is very well made. I think I would see a dress like this in Cos or in H&M. So to find it in Primark for 18 pounds is very good for what it is. I just really love this dress. It's so modest, yes. But still, I feel, I feel feminine. I feel cute. Like, yeah, I feel like this dress really embodies the girly side of my personality the girl next door side of my personality. Vibe I was trying to tell you is Solange. Do you know what I mean? Just I picked up some sandals in Primark. I couldn't help myself. I was like, Lauren, stop. Like, stop buying, but I just couldn't help myself. And they are these nude flat sandals. So yeah, I got these in a size seven. They thought big. And they were six pounds. I saw them in Primark and I was like, you know what? That is a bit of me. These sage green mules, like how cute. Legit, I'm so sure that you can find this on AliExpress, maybe for eight pounds, but am I willing to wait three weeks for shipping? No, I'm not. So again, I've got this in a size seven and they were 10 pounds and this color is adorable. I know my cousins are gonna watch this and be cussing me thinking, Lauren, you're really an auntie buying mules, but baby, it's a thing. So I got this makeup brush and it is a highlight and blush brush. I saw, who did I see putting on highlight the other day? I can't remember. I saw um, this really pretty girl. She was putting on highlight the other day and it came out so nice because she was using a bigger brush. However, whenever I put on my highlight, it always just looks like a strobe light. Up till now, I still can't put on highlight properly. So I bought this brush and it was £2.50. Please let me know in the comments how you apply your highlight because I just do it and hope for the best. Tools and accessories. I picked up some new tweezers. Um, nothing, nothing major, literally some really nice gold tweezers, £1. I got the angled ones and the pointy ones. I picked up a new hairbrush because the one I've got, all of the bristles are melted because whenever I blow dry my wig, like the heat from the blow dryer has like melted the bristles. So yeah, I got this and it was 90p. Wow, something in Primark under a pound. Do you remember when Primark used to do stuff for like 79p and 69p? Those were the days. I picked up this necklace that was pound fifty this silver chain kind of necklace. Thought it was really cute, just an everyday basic. Can't go wrong, £1.50. I also picked up some new earrings. The first pair I got were these Diamante. Let me just show you because it's easier for me to show you than for me to explain. E, can you see it? I got these, uh, where are we now? And then I got some chubby hoops, one in silver and one in gold, and they were both £1.50. And then the last pair of earrings I got were these uh, dangle, oh, okay. Oh, you know what? I thought I could wear them two ways, but I can't. Um, these silver kind of dangly earrings. I've also got a really cute headband. I'm not too keen on this yet, like, uh, I think it makes me look super childish. Colour, I'm not feeling it. Two pounds, corduroy. If this is your thing, then they also have it in mustard yellow, and I think I saw them have it in green. I picked up a pack of 10 hangers. These were four pounds, 10 non-slip hangers, and they're great because whenever I hate when I hang up clothes and they're just slipping off the sides, so. 
here. I already have quite a few of these in my wardrobe, but I need some new hangers. And now onto some home pieces. I picked up this candle. Oh, it's so nice. Lemon zest, citrus and ginger. And I can't lie, I'm not a fan of the packaging. I'm not a fan of like the shape of the candle. However, it smells really good. I love citrusy smells, especially in my bedroom. It just energizes me and makes the space feel nice and clean, but also really fruity and yummy. How could I have a haul without anything interiors related involved? So I picked up this planter from, I wow, I least said Ikea, <laughs> from Primark. It was six pounds. Oh, I didn't tell you how much that candle was. The candle was, £2.50. It smells good for £2.50. Hey, okay, Primark, we see you. But I picked up this gold planter for £6 and I think it would look really lovely in any room, basically. It just adds a bit of luxury for cheap. And then to pair next to it, this is a shorter planter. It's like a wicker basket and this one was £6 as well. And it has a um, it has plastic inside of it, so you could literally plant straight inside of here without putting a pot inside. So that's really good. I would advise you, however, to put maybe some pebbles in the bottom of here before you put your plant in, so that there's drainage for your plant, so that you don't kill it with too much water whenever you go to water it. There's drainage allowance because what the pebbles do is soak up that excess water. Yeah, quick tip for you. Sadly guys, you've come to the end of the haul. I finished showing you everything that I got from Primark. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you do end up going to your Primark, let me know what you got in the comments so I can see and have a little look if I end up venturing out to the shops again. And stay safe. I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that you enjoyed my other videos. I'm really rambling now. You know what to do. Like, comment, add, subscribe. Please, if you love these videos, I'm nearly at 300 subscribers. So it would mean the world to me if we could get there together. So I'll see you in my next one. Bye.